Hello fellow entrepreneurs, it's Eliza back with another video all about how to do a startup from the ground up as I'm doing it. So today I wanted to talk about a more serious topic which is talking about the loneliness of being an entrepreneur. I've actually been sort of reading, sort of flipping my way back and forth through this book. Um, it's called The Messy Middle. Um, it is by Scott Belsky. He did Behance, if you've ever heard of that product, um, and then worked at Adobe, where I think he is now. Um, it's a pretty good read. I don't know if I'd recommend like fully buying it per se. I'm not totally done with it yet um, because it doesn't have a lot of like practical advice. Um, but it does have... It's a good book to open just to be reassured that other people are going through what you are going through or they've been there. It's just kind of nice to have someone else who understands even if it's in a book format. It does have one chapter called Fight Resistance with a Commitment to Suffering, which is a little extreme. So anyway, I wanted to read a specific part to this that I felt really encompassed what I was feeling um, and I wanted to read it out and then discuss it a little bit with everyone. My family and friends always offered to help me, but there was nothing they could do. I felt the weight of every decision and the careers of those who quit their jobs to join me on my shoulders. When I think back to those lost years, I recall a constant somber loneliness, a suffering from the feeling that nobody else could relate. The struggle was further compounded by the optimism I had to exude to my team and potential customers and partners. So this really spoke to me because the fact is, is that if you are doing something so bold as to start your own company, there is I've felt almost this pressure that I have to be in love with it every step of the way um, because most people don't get the chance to do this. It's a lot of people's dreams. And so you can't just say like, oh, this has been sucking, or at least I haven't felt like I could say that, which is unfortunate. You know, when I do hang out with friends, um, I do feel like I used to be able to be like, oh, like, this thing has happened in my job, like, blah, 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 and sort of have, you know, the kind of classic, basically, complain fest session. Um, and then you feel better, and then you go on with your work, as you normally do. But I haven't been able to do that recently for a couple of reasons. One, like I said, is because I feel as though I should love this. And two, I feel like I need to be successful all the time, or, like, I'm this big huge failure like my dream has failed so I feel like I really do do what he was saying and kind of force this optimism on people when they ask me how things are going even when they're not going very well um, or and this is the absolute worst thing that you could do which is what I did do a lot last year as you could see is that I just would disappear when things weren't going well I figured no one would want to see me. I didn't really feel like I was in the mood to see anyone. So I would just go radio silent and not see anyone for months because I was too ashamed to talk about how things were going. You know, I was embarrassed to say like that I expected to be much further along in the product's journey uh, than we were. Uh, I thought we would have launched last year and, and we didn't and we weren't for another couple of months. Um, and that's frustrating. It's a frustrating experience and unlike having a job, it kind of, it all comes down to you. So there is a reason for that. I've made mistakes um, and there isn't, there's a great headwind coming at you when you're creating new things. So a lot of it's to be expected, but it's still, it comes back down to just feeling embarrassing still. But I do just want to emphasize a couple of things if you do feel like you are in this in this zone in your life. 
One is that I do think that even though things don't happen on the timeline that you want, sometimes that's for good reason. Sometimes you need to take a step back so that your ultimate product is much better than it was going to be or you were go you had problems that you could see down the line that you're just oh I'm just going to put off those problems until later but maybe you realize that there's a way to deal with it now um, and so you take that time to deal with it now so sometimes the extra time is for a very good reason the second thing I would say is that learning this kind of endurance is one of the most valuable skills that I have learned in this entrepreneurship journey um, more than learning like how to deal with manufacturers or how to market or how to structure a corporate entity what I've really learned is problem solving is pushing through things that seem impossible at the time um, and how to be resourceful with the few resources I have to still achieve my goals. There's nothing else that I've ever done in my life that has really taught me those skills like this has, even if I, as of yet, don't have as much to outwardly show for it. So there's a lot to be proud of, even if things aren't going well at the time. And I think the last thing I would say is really find friends that you can be honest with. Um, I think I haven't given my support system enough credit in my life. Because um, once I did start talking about the things that were going wrong, I've received nothing but support and love and encouragement. Um, so I think you do need to find that support system that will help you through. Um, and I think you do need to take the time to do things that are healthy for you. You should definitely sleep enough, you should eat right, you should exercise. Um, I know there is this idea of like, you must do nothing but start up or else like doom. Uh, but the fact is, I don't really think that works. I think you need to think of your health first because you won't do your best work um, if you are not healthy in your body and soul, you know what I mean? So. Um, if you can possibly take that time out to do that, you definitely, definitely should make it a priority. All right, that's all I have to say for now. Um, there are some other things in this book that I want to talk about, but this is sort of the big one, is this tackling this loneliness that you feel and that you are not alone. There's a lot of other people who have experienced this exact same thing, you have a vision in your mind and you know exactly when it's going to be launched and what's going to happen and you have no idea. Things just happen the way that they do and it's your job to kind of just keep trucking on, keep going forward with that vision. All right, that's my time. Thanks so much. Uh, please consider subscribing to this channel uh, to hear about more videos um, and like this video, share it and comment down below. All right, thanks. Bye.